Despite the cool cover, unfortunately, there's no Snake Man hybrid in this movie. Just Stephen Baldwin trying to outcharm an overly large, multi headed snake. After the remains of an Amazonian who lived to be 300 years old are recovered by Gentech, they send a team to find a snake tribe and uncover their secrets to longevity. Stephen Baldwin stars as Matt, the guide and helicopter pilot that crashes the team in. must have took the crash course in touring the Amazon. It's not long before they encounter the Naga, a giant multi-headed snake that's been terrorizing the rainforest ever since the snake tribesman's body was taken. Talk about a crop top! Leading the team are the co-heads of Gentex Biogenetics who of course have conflicting views of using the science, Rick and Susan. Unsurprisingly, Matt and Susan become close, but in no small part, due to a spider prank gone wrong, or in this case, hilariously right, which earns him a Van Slamish Spotlight. Van Slamish Spotlight. If this sucker had bit you, you'd have been dead within four hours. You, know you, just, you just keep that away from me, okay? Oh, just keep it away! Just a little spider. I guess that's when she fell for him. Susan is later captured by the snake tribe, which leads to one of my favorite laugh out loud scenes when she finds out the chieftain's son is deathly ill and she merely has a flashback to when she blatantly sneezed in the kid's face earlier in the movie. Some doctor. Susan and Matt eventually end up at odds with Rick and Gentet when they decide to protect the snake tribe and its secrets from being stolen and exploited. Planning to take it by force, the Gentech CEO arrives with a bunch of mercs leading to a battle with the snake tribesmen and an eventual massacre by the Naga. Well, he had guts. Snake Man was a fairly entertaining creature flick. The Naga was a vicious monster with a high kill count and plenty of gore. Looks like he had to split. Stephen Baldwin was a funny but surprisingly incompetent hero who ends up not really doing much, whether it's being easily captured, not shooting anyone in a firefight, or failing a surprise attack. Well, he took a shot, literally. After the Naga makes quick work of the Mercs, the movie just kind of ends anticlimactically as the Naga just wanders away, surviving to eat Mercs another day, while Susan and Matt just find love. On the band Savage Meter, I give it 3 out of 5 masks. It was Snake Bland. Now for the top 3 signature moves. Top 3 signature moves. Number 3 Amazon Impaler Shop. They got the point. Second, the Naga Acid Drop. Talk about a facial. And finally, the finish, this member's only Jack. He's past his limb it. <laughs> Given how the movie ended with the Naga still alive, makes it prime for a band seven sequel pitch. The new Gentech CEO captures Susan and sends in more mercs to uncover the Naga's secret. Matt gets much needed help from Chieftain slash real snake hybrid slash special forces Jack Van Slant to rescue Susan and defend the Naga's secret. I call it Snake Man 2 Return of the Snake King. Hail to the Snake King, baby. Thanks again for joining me for Jack Van Slam vs. Snake Man. Let me know in the comments below your thoughts, what your favorite moments were. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe for more ridiculousness and more slam ranking movie reviews. Look, get on the radio. Ah!